a good day. Hi, Rapstein with your Metals Market Wrap-Up, and this wrap-up is for Monday, the 1st of November, 2021, about 4.40 p.m. Central Time. Now, I happen to be in Mexico. It's two hours earlier, and I'm on a veranda and enjoying myself. I have no idea how long I'm going to stay here. I'm one of the people that American Airlines is reaching out because I'm supposed to go home soon, and they're asking if I want to change flights and no charges, anything. I just may do that, so you may not see me for a few more days. There's a lot of worse places to be stuck than in uh, beautiful Mexico. In any case, you've got the gold market up nearly $12, silver up nicely today, the copper market even had a good little run at it. Look at this platinum. Dollar down, foreign currencies gaining. We had the first day of the COP26 uh, summit, as you saw. President Biden was caught napping. I'm not just saying this. I was looking at it on Fox News as he was uh, there nodding away. I'm sure he was in deep concentration. Uh, And another setback happening for him where Joe Manchin is now saying, you know, nobody's giving the details on the uh, plan, the reconciliation plan, and he's getting convinced it's way more than $1.75 trillion, could be well approaching 2 to $3 trillion, if not more, because they're not getting the plan. So he's using his muscle, and he's saying, no, he thinks they've got to do the infrastructure passing first, then they come back with details on this. In essence, nothing's getting done. And the market's going to look at that and decide what to do. Did the stock market break on the news? Well, as you can see, the answer is no. So this wasn't late in the new day news. But let's take a look and see what the patterns are in the market and what the market is doing. On the weekly chart of just closes, the market has fallen back and hanging into the 18-week average. The bias is up since the market is over that number. When we go to the next chart, which is just a bar chart of gold, You have a pattern where the market's just going sideways. Now, it's been coming up, you can see that, and it's sort of stalled out. When we look at the swing line, you do have a pattern here of lower highs, lower lows. That's a downtrend until the market gets up and over 1812.70. When you look at where the market fell to, it's the 18-day moving average of closes, which is what I call, what, the line in the sand. That's the neutral part on a chart. So on the rallies off of here, we've rallied back up to the 200-day, the 100-day average of closes, keep getting thrown back into support at that 18-day average of closes and seem to bounce away. You do not have a bull set up at this point, but you don't have a bear one either. What you need to get bearish is a close back under the 18-day average of closes. Market hasn't done that. The resistance is the upper Bollinger Band. Remember, that's an algorithm where 95% of the time the market will do what? The market will take that and find that as a resistance point. Next, you look at the slow stochastics. They had been overbought because they were getting up, as you can see, towards the 78 level. They've been coming back down. Now the readings are under 70. They're no longer overbought, but they haven't turned up either. They're still pointing down just a little bit. We'll have to see what's going to happen. If you hear the background noise, I'm sorry, but it does add some flavor to this. The information doesn't change, but I don't want to go in. Uh, You know, in Chicago, I know we had the first frost. I'm going to enjoy the outside. In the gold-silver ratio, what are we doing? We're staying down, as you can see, underneath the 18-day average of closes, which means silver loses to gold, and you're seeing that. But the silver market has what? The silver market has the trend down and, like gold, the bias up. You, You don't have a clear picture here at all, and you're correcting a market that had been embedded when it lost it here it loses it this particular day look on the left the slow stochastic gets to a 77 reading it often means prices want to make a run to the 18-day average of closes neutrality in the copper market we've been in a pattern of lower highs lower lows you have fallen to the 100 day average to try to find support now this has been an important number you fought around here before you took off to the upside and it acted as resistance all the way back here as you can see all through these areas let's see what the market does is it saying sell me absolutely not you're oversold oversold conditions often don't attract more selling in the platinum market in January, you got a higher high, lower low. The battleground has been the 
right here, the 200-day, uh, well, actually, that's the 100-day average of closes, I believe, and right here, the 18-day average. So back and forth action, a real battle going on for direction. And in the Palladium market, the market is just sort of sitting at this point in time. So this market at least is turning itself to the upside. You're back over the 18-day uh, average of closes, momentum turning up. If the market can build on this, then the 2152 area becomes the next number that you have to look at. As for the dollar, well, it's stuck. And it's clearly stuck in the Bollinger Band top to bottom. You see it from right here on the chart to over here. Is the market giving you an indication which way it ultimately wants to go? My answer is no. So if you're going to play the Bollinger Bands, well, you might want to take a look at this. Look at this now. 